What if you had so many customers that you could barely keep up. Now, that's a nice problem to have, and it can happen to you if your business appears at the very top of Google search results. In the next few minutes, I will unveil seven free Google SEO tools to help you get there without paying a dime. And if you stick around till the end, I will share how I really feel about these tools. You might recall that SEO consists of three main components on-page SEO, technical SEO, and off-page SEO. On-page SEO is all about ensuring your web pages are relevant and helpful based on keywords or phrases that people are searching for. Let's say I own an online store that sells vintage t-shirts. I want to figure out what things my potential customers are searching for so that I can optimize my website for those terms. A good place to start is with our first tool, Google Trends. This is exactly what it sounds like. Google Trends lets you explore what people search for in a given place and time period. This graph, for example, shows interest in the search term vintage t-shirts in the past 12 months. As you can see, there is a spike in July because of summer. So maybe you don't spend all your marketing budget during the holidays. Now, can you guess what five states in the US have the highest searches for vintage t-shirts? It's Mississippi, Alabama, Kansas, Arkansas, and Tennessee. So if you are running paid search ads or any kind of online advertising, maybe you spend more on these locations or you target them with specific offers. And for your bluegrass vintage t-shirt collection, you should sell that in Kentucky. Mucho, mucho. It's easy to think you know your customer, but the stuff you find in Google Trends can really surprise you. So before you spend money and time, I really suggest that you do some research. Now, when you look at graphs in Google Trends, you might be wondering how many people are actually searching for vintage t-shirts or whatever term you're actually exploring. That's where keyword research tools can come in really handy. This brings us to our second free Google tool, Google Keyword Planner. Keyword Planner can help you find new keywords or if you have a list of existing existing keywords, you can figure out search volume and other historical metrics. So when I search for vintage t-shirts in the United States, Google Keyword Planner tells me there are between 1,000 and 10,000 people on average searching for this keyword monthly. Now, if I ask Google Keyword Planner to give me keyword ideas based on vintage t-shirts, I find out, surprise, surprise, that just as many people are searching for Metallica vintage t-shirts, but much more than that, they are searching for Nike vintage t-shirts. So here are some ideas for you. Maybe you wanna create a whole page on your website for these t-shirts, so that way you can target the keywords people are actually searching for. Remember, you should use this tool to find out information that is surprising to you, not to confirm the stuff that you already know. Free tool number three, Google Business Profile. This one is a must if you're running a store with a brick and mortar location. A Google business profile, formerly known as Google My Business, is a free listing with information about your business that lets you provide details like your location, your services, products, and photos. Then Google will take this list and put it in a local search result. This is what it can look like for someone searching on a mobile device. Optimizing your business profile is quite honestly, the most important local SEO task. Having one means that you can rank for super important keywords such as vintage shop near me or vintage t-shirts in New York or whatever your location is. These three tools are a great place to start when it comes to on-page SEO, but you might notice some gaps. And now a word from our sponsor. Oh wait, that's us. If keywords and ranks make you fret and search intents a tangled net, if questions asked leave you in a bind and your local SEO is hard to find, worry not, we've got a hack to get your web presence back on track. No, but seriously, if you wanna do this right, you should check out SEMrush. For every tool that I just mentioned, we have a supercharged version that will help you get ahead faster and with a lot more confidence. Now let's move on to the second category of SEO, Technical SEO. Technical SEO ensures your website is organized well, accessible to Google, and loads quickly. Google has many tools that can help you determine whether your website provides users with the best possible experience. Because at the end of the day, Google cares that your website provides a great experience to people who visit it. So your ranking will suffer if your website is slow to load, super disorganized, and people can't find what they're looking for. There's no excuse for this really, but Google will tell you exactly how they feel about your website with these free tools. Tool number four, Page Speed Insights. In this tool, you can type your URL and Google will tell you what's working and what's not. 
It's basically like a report card, but for your website. If you wanna dig deeper into mobile, you can use tool number five, the mobile friendly test, which gives you a score based on mobile usability. It also previews your site to help you identify any specific layout or design issues. Now, the third technical SEO tool is a little bit more advanced, but it can be a game changer if you learn how to use it. And that's tool number six, Google Search Console. GSC is a comprehensive tool. You can use it to understand which search terms bring the most traffic to your website and to explore insights into your site's impressions, clicks, and position in Google search. My favorite feature is that it gives you information on which pages on your site Google has crawled and indexed. Remember that crawling is when the Google bot searches the web for new or updated pages. When a web page is indexed, Google analyzes those pages and stores them in its massive database. So if your website's pages aren't crawled or aren't indexed, your website is not gonna show up in search results, no matter how much keyword research you conduct. This is why this process is so important. In Google Search Console, you can even set alerts to notify you when Google finds issues with your website so you can fix them super fast. On to the last component of SEO, off-page SEO. This consists of showing Google that your pages are authoritative and trustworthy. A lot of the focus of off-page SEO is backlinks or links from other websites to your own. Each backlink is basically a vote of confidence, telling Google that other people online think that your content is amazing. This brings us to our last tool, tool number seven, Google Analytics. Maybe you've heard of this one, it's quite popular. Over 28 million of the world's websites use Google Analytics to understand performance. From an SEO standpoint, Google Analytics is super helpful in understanding how much traffic you're getting from various sources, including organic search. Google makes changes to its algorithms often, more often than we like actually. So your winning formula might not work next week, even if it works today. If you are not using Google Analytics, you might not even know that you have a problem which is why it's so important to keep track of all your SEO traffic numbers. We're reaching the end of this video, so it's time for me to tell you how I really feel about these tools. So when I started out in marketing and was running my own e-commerce business, I used all of these, but especially Google Keyword Planner. So here's what I did. I would do a bunch of keyword research, then put all those keywords into spreadsheets and manually track how each keyword was performing. This process was honestly really annoying and took a ton of my time. And especially if you're an entrepreneur or you are a one person marketing team, you honestly don't have the time to do all of that. So eventually I had to invest in a paid keyword research tool that allowed me to not just conduct keyword research, but also to track the performance of my keywords in one place. There are a bunch of tools out there that you can use and pay for. Of course, my favorite is SEMrush, but I'm a bit partial to that tool, of course. But if you are interested in exploring SEMrush, Check out the links at the bottom of this video. You can start a free trial and really check out whether our keyword tools are a fit for you and your business. If you're curious about SEMrush, check out the SEMrush SEO crash course with my very talented friend and SEO expert, Brian Dean. The link is below. And hey, the world of SEO and marketing, it's super complicated. I know, I've been there. So drop a comment. Tell us what is your biggest frustration with these tools and we will absolutely try to help. So. Go forth and harness the power of SEO and watch your site climb those search rankings. Catch you next time.